Hello there. So, after publishing my tutorials, some of my friends, they told me I need to show my personal graph because it might be useful that people see how Obsidian could look, look like after a while of using it. So let's check it out in this short video. This is my personal vault right now. And when I click here, my graph builds up. And yeah, I zoomed out a lot, but when you zoom in, you see a lot. <laughs> notes and you can actually change some settings here for example the size of the notes or how thick or thin the lines are maybe like this and now let's enter a query here and let's color all the ones which are connected to music in red. You can see it right here. And now you can see the areas in which music is connected. As you can see now, there's a bubble. So this might be a field of interest because a lot of nodes are connected here. The same as here or here. And when you zoom in, you can explore those areas a little bit. What is connected with each other. Let me here. You can set when the text fades in. And here you can see that. Oh, let me also. Um, the attachments have been enabled. And I also want to see orphans. Orphans are the nodes which do not have a connection. Typically, typically, there shouldn't be one in my vault because every node has an upper link. And yeah, I deactivated the attachments because these could be um, screenshots or anything else. So I think it looks better like this. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, this picture doesn't, did not change that much. But now when we zoom in, we see this red area here. And now we see, for example, here there's a note which is called theory harmony and chord pro progression which yeah a lot of uh, under how do you say under notes <laughs> no smaller notes or smaller pages which are connected to this topic are located inversions for example modulation or borrowed chromatic chords for example yes and i think that's it actually perfect have a good one